Hello Techies, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. In the upcoming session, we will learn how to automate an Excel by using Blue Prism. In this module, we will learn how to write the data into the Excel by using Blue Prism. All right, let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a process with the name of Blue Prism Excel Automation 1. And then I'm going to click on next. So what is the description I will give? I will give it as Excel automation. Let me click on finish. Now let me double click on the processes. So the process will open in the process studio. All right. Now the main agenda of this module is that we are going to write the data into the Excel. All right. In my C drive, Blue Prism training, I'm having an Excel book that is with the name of Excel book. Let me double click that. So now what I'm going to do, as part of this automation, I'm going to write the data into the cell, into the column A and the row one, I want to write the data as hello world. So this is what I'm going to do as part of this module by using Blue Prism. Now let me go back to my process studio. Now we are going to work with action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the page. Now let me double click the action. Now I'm going to say it as Excel action. Okay, over here, what I'm going to do, I want to set hello world. I want to write hello world so that I'm going to give the description as hello world. Now if you see under business object, if you see I'm having internal business objects. If you see collections, work queues, calendars, credentials, environmental logging, encryption. These are all the things we have seen earlier. But if you see, now I'm going to work with the Excel, but I don't have any business objects. Now, how can I go ahead and get this business object for the Excel? All right, now let me show you how we can get that business object. Let me click on OK. Now, let me return to the blue prism. Over here, if you see, I'm having objects as null. I don't have any objects over here. The business objects, I don't have anything. How can I go ahead and import? Right, now let me go to file. Over here, you can find import. Let me click on that. Now choose the input file. Now I'm going to click on browse. Let me go to C drive. Over here, you can find program files. Let me double click on that. And there you can find Blue Prism Limited. Double click on that. Or there again, you will find a folder Blue Prism Automate. Double click. There you can find a lot of objects. Now what you are going to do, you are going to work with Excel, right? So that I'm going to select VBO. Now related to that VBO, that is business objects, there you will find a lot of business objects over here. You can see calendars, OLEDB, SQL Server, email, MS Excel, MS Word, and whatnot. You will find a lot of business objects over here. Now, in this session, we're going to work with Excel, right? So that I'm going to select BPA object MS Excel. Let me select that and click on open. So the business objects will be provided to you in the format of XML so that you will get it as BPA object as MS Excel dot XML. Let me click on X. So now the MS Excel business object has been imported successfully into the database. Let me click on finish. Now if you see under the objects that you will find MS Excel VBO. All right. Now let me switch to process studio where we have created Excel automation one process. All right. Now let me double click on Excel action. There, go to the business objects. There you will find visual business object. Under that, you will find MS Excel VBO. All right. Now I'm going to select that VBO. Now, if you see, there's a lot of actions you will get it, like activate workbook, worksheet, and after that, you will find a lot of things over here. All right. Now, this is the, I want to write the hello world, right? So that as a first step, I want to open the workbook. That is the first step what we need to do. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to select as open workbook. All right. Now it is asking for the inputs. One is handle, another one is the file name. Which file name I have to give it over here to open the workbook. 
if you see over here the value, I'm going to give it in the text format. So that let me go back to my Excel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the enter path of this Excel book. So I'm going to copy as path. And the same path, I'm going to provide it over here in the value. All right. Now let me click on OK. Now we have opened the workbook. Now what is the action that next action we have to do in the Excel? We have to set the value or we have to type the value as hello world. For the turn, what I will do, I will take one more action over here and then I will drop it onto the panel and then let me double click. Over here, I'm going to set value. I'm just going to give the action property name as set value. And after that, what is the business object that I will select? MS Excel VBO and the action. This is the important one. So there I'm going to set the value, right? So set cell value that I'm going to select the property, select the action over here. You can see set cell value. Let me select that action. And there you can see cell reference text. What is the value that I have to give it out? Over here, if you see, where is the cell value I want to write it? In the column A and the row 1, A1, I'm going to take that cell value and I'm going to write there the hello world, right? So I'm going to give the same reference over here in the double quotes, A1, okay? And the value text, I will make it as hello world. And let me click on OK. Now we have opened an Excel, we have set some value, and then what is the next thing that we'll do? We'll close the Excel workbook. So I'm going to select one more action, just drag and dropping onto the panel. Let me double click the action, and I'm going to give the action property as close Excel workbook. All right, now I'm going to select the business object as the MS Excel VBO and the actions so you will see over here, close workbook. All right, so over here you can see what is the workbook name. I'm just going to give the, in double quotes, I'm going to give the name as the same value which we have got it from the sheet. That is, you know, workbook I have given as excelbook.xlx. And you want to save the data? Yes, I want to save the data. So that I will make it as true over here. So because of this is a flag, right? So that I will set the value over here as true. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, I want to, this flow, I have to link from start to actions, right? How can I go ahead and link it? By using link. Let me select this link. And then from start to action, that is Excel action, Excel action to set value, set value to close Excel, close Excel to an end. Now let me go ahead, let me save the process. I'm going to give some values as Excel automation. And then let me click on save changes. Now our process has been saved successfully. All right, now let me check out there any errors or there or not. Let me click on errors. You will have the warnings over here, but you don't have any kind of errors. Don't worry about that. Let me close this. Now let me run the process by clicking on run. Now if you see, Excel action has been completed, set value has been done, closed Excel also has been done, and end has been completed. You can see process has been completed successfully. Now, let me open the Excel. Now you can see, you can see hello world has been written successfully in the Excel book that is which we have given as part of the Blue Prism. I hope you understand how to open a workbook and how to set a value by using set cell value action as well as we have seen how to close an Excel by using close Excel workbook as part of this session. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.